Hello and welcome to another video tutorial with Oklahoma City University's Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record a video using D2L Media Library and then share that recording into your course. This will be recording using your camera and also recording your screen sharing. This is the preferred method for recording a asynchronous lecture that you're wanting to share. If you're trying to record a synchronous lecture, meaning you have students in the in the classroom and you're recording to share with other students that couldn't make it to class that day, for example, um, please use the Microsoft Teams meetings recording method, which you can find in the documentation and the CETL YouTube page. OK. So you can see that I am in my Oklahoma City University's D2L homepage. And so I'm just going to navigate to my course here. So I'm going to go to my sandbox course. And within my sandbox course, you're going to see a tab up here that says OCU resources. If I click on that, you'll see an option that says media library. Click that. And then you will see two buttons up here. One says upload file. The other one says create recording. So let's click on create recording. And you're going to see a, a few options here on this screen. First thing is you have the option to turn on your camera. The second thing you're going to see is screen share. So I'm going to click that and share my screen. You have an option here to just share a tab within Google Chrome to just share a certain window or to share your entire screen. I'm going to click share my entire screen. Now I have two monitors hooked up on my computer. You probably only have one monitor, um, but I just happen to know that screen one is the screen that I want to record. So either way, whether you have two monitors or just one, you're going to see a representation of your screen on the window here. You have to click that screen. So for example, I'm clicking screen one and you notice it puts a blue outline around screen one and then it gives me a blue share button down here. So I'm going to click share. And you notice that this little window up, this little tiny bar pops up and it says that I'm sharing my screen. So it is ready for me to start recording. I've got my screen sharing. I'm ready to open up and pull up, for example, a Microsoft PowerPoint. But I'm going to click start recording. And you can see that there's a counter going and there's a uh, meter that detects the volume of my microphone and I can pause the recording and then pick back up if I need to. So if I click pause, I can continue to resume recording in that manner. Now I can, as this is sharing my screen, I can open up Microsoft PowerPoint or anything else I want to show with the students and start my, my PowerPoint and just kind of continue to work through that and it will be recorded. So once I am finished, I'm going to click pause recording. And then I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So I'm going to click this blue button right here. And I'm going to click finish recording right here in this blue bar, this blue button. Now I can give it a title. So for example, <clears throat> uh, D2L Media Library Recording Test. Then you need to generate captions for your students that might have any uh, hearing disabilities or anything like that. So for accessibility purposes, we're going to come up here and click on the caption settings button and then check the box that says generate captions. Make sure it says English as the proper language for your students and then click the blue done button. And then I'm completely finished with my video. I can click save and close. Now it's going to upload this and process this within my media library. Now, I already have a previous recording that I have done. So how do I share this within my course? I've already recorded the video and I'm ready to place it into my course. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go back into my sandbox and I can post this as a course announcement. By coming in here. And then once I get into the main content area, clicking the insert stuff button, click on media library. 
and then I can search. And you can see here's my option for the one that I created earlier. You have to type in um, a word from the title of the video that you saved and then hit search. And when it pops up, just select it and then click next. If you don't click on the video, that blue next button will not uh, work for you. So click next. And when the preview shows down here, it's good to go. I can click the blue insert button. And there it is within my announcement. If I hit publish, it will show up as an announcement within my course. I can do the exact same thing within my course for um, HTML page, for example. So if I click on content and I come into here, I go to the module that I would like to do. So let's say I'm going to do uh, week one and I want to create a new uh, HTML page. Give it a title, come into the description, click the insert stuff button, click on media library, and again, type in the title for the video, click search. And so here my second recording is ready for me to put in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one, click that, click next. Again, once the preview shows up, I can click the blue insert button. There it is, save and close. Now, when you uh, save and close an HTML file, you always want to make sure that you turn the toggle to uh, unhide it so that your students can see it. So there now it is visible. And there you go. That is how you record a video in D2L and share, record the screen sharing and then place that within your course. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to Oklahoma City University Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning. Thank you.